Hi ho there people, what's going on? My name is Big Money. This here is episode number 39 of the Battlefield 4 Top Plays. Slightly shorter than normal episode today because a lot of the clips are fairly on the short side. But that does not take away from how goddamn awesome they are. Seriously, there's some fucking amazing clips today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. To start off our episode today here, we've got the Giovannin. And uh, he's winning Silk Road, just abandoned out in the middle of nowhere by the guy on the bike there. And there's an enemy jet flying overhead, first time, takes it down with his RPG-7. Not too shabby of a shot there. And as he gazes off into the distance, he sees another enemy aircraft, this time in the form of a helicopter. Approaching here ever so slowly, he has no idea the rocket is on its way and takes him out of the sky again, first time. Another very, very nice shot. But we've got another little one at the end here. I mean, the first two shots were fucking awesome. The third one here is already damaged and he just takes it out there, putting him out of his misery. Nice. Second clip today here comes from Storm Avatar, he's winning Wang Kang Dam, he's just spawning in here, playing some obliteration parachute, and then enemy players on that building over there, first time, gets a headshot, very nice shot, second shot, he gets a hit marker, third shot, he takes the guy out, fourth shot, he gets another hit marker, and then takes the guy out with the fifth, that is amazing accuracy. For clip number three today, we've got Arj Mar. Well, Armar, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but he's just parachuting in, I think he's playing on some Galmond Railway, and looking all the way down here, now, I've timed this myself. This rocket, on his straw, is in the air for 12 whole seconds. That is fucking insane! We're just blasting through these today here, we've got It's Hawk on next year, and he's playing on uh, some Operation Locker with a Scar H peering down this hallway you can see there's absolute madness ensuing down here as per usual which is just, it's just always the case on this map. Takes down his first guy there with the M26 mass and uh, puts a couple of hits on someone up there before deciding to just stop. I don't know why he didn't just continue shooting that guy. But uh, again puts a couple of bullets down range there, he might have got a couple of hits in on that guy but he didn't stick around to find out if he could kill him or not. So he moves all the way down here, hiding behind the stairs, just under the stairs here. The enemy team are just chucking down grenades, thinking that they're going to be standing at the bottom of the stairs. His teammate charges up there and just instantly dies as he picks off an enemy through the little crack there. But uh, eventually he decides, screw it, he's just going to ramble his way in here. And he gets the first guy there with the M26 mask, followed up by another, I think, like three or four. There's another one there that he walked past first time there, but he took everyone else, else out as that guy was completely oblivious to the situation. And uh, he gets quite a few hits on this guy over here before he eventually takes him down with the Scar Age followed up by a quick second. And uh, he's now kind of just got free range to just go popping away at who he likes. That is a very nice move. Net himself a whole bunch of kills in a quick time span. Nice. For our fifth clip up today, we've got Hammer Troller HD. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever seen something like this before. In his jet, cruising along, Operation Firestorm. Jumps out, M98B, no scope. That, that's it. Boom. No scope while flying through the air. Lucky as shit, but awesome. Number six today, we've got Myth Kive. And uh, he's putting some rogue transmission. He's running around here with his SV98 and his G18 backup pistol. And he's already taken down two targets as he moves towards this MCOM station. The enemy team are just arming. Taking down another two targets, he spots this LAV. Getting some C4 on there, he takes him down quickly, getting himself another quick triple kill, followed by no scope to that guy's face, I think he may have took someone else out as well in there somewhere too. Gets in there, disarms the charge, before realising of course there's still one guy left, but he couldn't see him because he was lying prone. But that's a very awesome little quick play, just blasting the crap out of the enemy team, pointing the objective and saving that MCOM station for his team. Awesome. For our next clip up today here, we have Toby Fitzner. At least I think that's how you're supposed to say that. But the game has just begun, they've just spawned in, he's walked outside, took aim with his sniper rifle right across the map, and as you can see, there's a guy just, just sitting there. But he gets a collateral in over 3,000 points from a single bullet. 
Now, we've already featured this guy so far in the top 10, but both clips were so awesome that I couldn't leave either one of them out. So, I doubt that many of you have ever seen anyone ever do what this guy is just about to pull off in a second. Flying back around, he ejects out of his jet, of course, straw, and kills a parachuter. And gets back in the jet, just to round it off. I've never seen, and I've seen hundreds of Rendy Zooks. I've got sick of them a long time ago. But holy shit, that is awesome. I've never seen anyone ever do that before. Next up today here, we've got All Day Beast Mode, and he's playing on Rogue Transmission with the M98B, playing some Team Deathmatch, and uh, he takes up position behind this dumpster over here. The enemy team are all housed inside the construction site, and he's just got a great angle to just sit here and pop away at them with his M98B, so far with only one headshot. Second shot there, the guy wasn't really giving him much to shoot, so he only managed to win the guy. He got an assist counts his kill on him before taking out one of his teammates, stopping his kill streak. And then another shot in a row here, another headshot, then another headshot. And just all around, the accuracy of this guy throughout the clip, he pulls off shots like that one just a second ago and then followed up by the guy that's flying prone. His accuracy is awesome. He is just popping people left, right, and center. That shot was fucking awesome. As the guy was running around the wall, he lined up way ahead of him and took him out. Missed his last shot there before he has to go in for a reload, just taking his time here with his M98B. This gun is fucking huge. It would take an age to reload in real life, so you're probably speed reloading it in this game, and it still seems to take forever. But he was just having a little look there to see if he could spot anyone else down here, and of course, the enemies start emerging once again. That guy thought he was in cover or something, or at least he was trying to make himself difficult to hit, but he made very, very light work of him. Again, scouting out the area, looking for some more people to shoot, and of course there's no one exposing himself just yet. But of course, he uh, took a second to spot that guy, but he almost got him. Like, he got a hit marker on him. He didn't get a headshot, which was obviously what he would need to kill him on the spot there. But uh, taking down another guy there, he gets a hit marker on this guy through the grass, then hit, kills him with the second shot. And unfortunately, someone does come up and hunt him down, but a very nice display of accuracy. Now, our tenth and final clip for today comes from Rootsky, and the only way I can describe it is that it reeks of absolute badassery. So I'm just going to let it run. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's Battlefield 4 top plays. If you have, please hit that like button down below to help support the show. But I will see you guys next week. Yeah. Monster kill, kill, kill.